Canadian basketball community has been huge. The Canadian basketball community and our little family here is, has done a great job of supporting me from, from day one. Uh, my biggest thing with Canada basketball was just that it, it feels like uh, one big family. You know, every time that we get together in the summer, it's, it's, always, uh, it's always been like that. The Canadian basketball journey has been up and down, but it's been fun. Um, with anywhere in life, there's going to be people who doubt and there's going to be people who support you. And I think that's what kind of shows you who's real and who's for you. And it's part of your journey, it's a part of your story, and you gotta embrace it and allow it to motivate you and to become better and to prove those people that supported you right and to prove those that hated you wrong. That adversity builds character, builds who you are. I can speak as a player that's transitioned uh, into a career post-playing. It helped me mentally because there's always that, that component of, of us identifying ourselves as just solely basketball players uh, and, and a lot of guys have a lot have a hard time transitioning. And I remember um, as a kid we obviously had our role models especially guys like Steve Nash and, and Jamal Mazur but as the generations as my generation especially started getting into university and on into the pros it was such a prideful feeling for me to see more and more Canadians um, making it to the next level whether that's Division I, um, the NBA, the G League or the D League or whatever it was at the time um, in Europe as well. It was really cool to see how much Canada started to rally behind all of us and conversations were positive. It's always been fun to see how much we've grown. If, if I would say anything, we have to continue to support them because their success is a domino effect for this country. It's, uh, it's been definitely a huge blessing to have the, the Canadian basketball community supporting us. As a uh, now retired player and uh, continuing on to you know, try to find ways to stay close to the game. I've, I've still received uh, a lot of that same uh, support, you know, getting a chance to work with, you know, leagues in, uh, in Canada. Reality is a lot of people are dependent on their success. Their success at that next level, getting to Olympics, creates so much opportunity for all of Canada. And I speak for myself, I speak for you guys. And, and that's, I think sometimes that doesn't get enough acknowledgement. So I think that's where we have to just continue to support them, continue to encourage them. Yeah.